let's start with Gutenberg because that's when movable type started. And that was a genius of his invention was individual lead letters. The first invention of interchangeable parts. But with that was the start of printing as we know it today. I started in uh, letterpress printing in the uh, 50s, uh, typesetting, composing room, and worked at it in uh, many different areas, but I'm basically a trained compositor. Well, I was in my um, graduate program in Boulder, Colorado, and they had a print shop at Naropa University where I did some mini apprenticeships. They gave me the, um, I guess, the, the know-how, but the passion was already there because um, just the concept of putting little pieces together and making, making something really beautiful and, and permanent just really ex excited me. Letterpress means a lot of different things to a lot of different people, um, and it's really quite a broad term these days. Um, uh, it, obviously, the, the word letterpress, I mean, it refers directly to um, type and letter forms being built, and basically that being the, the main thing think, people think about is, okay, well, you've got individual type that you set, and then that's how you print it. It's a relief process. It's always a, a, a thrill to get your hands on actual type. So once you're sitting, when you're sitting in front of the computer and then you, you pull a case, um, a case of type out, and then you're actually hand setting type and you can see the way it looks and you can feel the way it looks it's there's something really magical about that i started studying design in college and um, i was really, really interested in typographic design designing digital typefaces and um, through my study of digital type i gradually came around to um, working with physical type as something that was more interesting to me than uh, a digital version so that sort of led me on this um, quest. I mean, typography is what got me into printing. The appeal of letterpress is that it's, it's handmade. It, it has flaws. Um, you know, it has an impression, as many printers try to recreate this kind of idea that there's a debossed quality in the, in the paper itself. It's, more, it's not only about, you know, the final product, a printed product. It's about ink and paper and all these things coming together, metal and, and wood and, and so forth. I don't think it's just letterpress that's more popular right now. I think it's anything that has to do with craft and handwork, any way that people can start to understand the past and the skills that went into those past um, trades or um, understand what it is to be a craftsperson now because we've gotten so far away from that in our day-to-day -day lives where we spend so much time at our jobs or in school doing things that are intangible and we're not um, problem solving with our hands. If you're just sitting at a keyboard you're insulated from basically what not always what you're doing but what your product is and a lot of people like to uh, involve himself in that type of literally hands-on, you know, being a part of the process, getting the feel for it. From the beginning, it's, it's a hands-on process, so um, it just takes a lot of work, and even if it's a minimal form, maybe there's not a lot of type, maybe there's not a lot of imagery, if you spend the time to build that form by hand and to follow it through the whole way, it, it comes across. No matter what it is that you're printing, the extra time makes it that much more valuable and, and it really stands out.